Hey everybody here! Happy Gamer doing a new series. This time, Chaos Demons Overview. Now, you, li you like it because this is an eye? You, you get it? It's an eye? As in, as in the eye of terror? Yeah? Yeah? Laugh, damn you! Laugh! I command it! So, let's look at the, the, the demons. I, I've... A little prologue here. Uh, you can skip ahead if you don't want to listen to it. But I've always found uh, Chaos Demons interesting because Games Workshop has finally split Chaos Space Marines or Traitor Space Marines now uh, from from Chaos Demons. They used to be one and the same. Uh, we started with the, uh, the Lost and the Dam Codex a while back, and now they are just officially two different freaking things uh and why why these megheads did that i don't know but um now that they have it's very interesting to see the characters the players i mean split between the two armies and you really see that there is no difference between a chaos space marine or traitor space marine player and 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 a normal space meanie player Okay, they're really they're really quite the same. One one likes you know a little more BDSM in their model style uh, than the other, but they're they they're, they're the same now because they're apparently maybe it's just me. Very few demons of chaos players. You'd think they'd be split fifty fifty, but they didn't. It is definitely the vast vast majority of them seem to be. Uh, uh, chaos space meanie players and then few demon players now that was my soapbox let's deal with the rules my overview on the chaos demons is that the reason why I like them is they play a lot like tyranids uh, they have few allies obviously uh, and they're very 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 synergistic in their army when you play chaos you have to pick a single idea a single play style and stick with it uh, through the whole army or you just won't have a competitive list you, you'll just fall apart there's lots of good units lots of specialist units but if you just mix match them together you're gonna lose now on the plus side the codex doesn't really allow you to mix match them. In Tyranids, you can definitely mismatch. In Eldar, you can mismatch even more. But the the the, the demons are tend to tend to be you know very specific. Okay, uh, you start with your HQ choice. Yeah, you know, first of all, you start with which of the chaos you know dinguses are you gonna follow or none chaos all divided and you and you go with that and then you've already got your thread right i mean you pick cornflakes and y you're probably not going to take demonettes for your troop choices uh we already know what your hq choice is going to be and we already know what your demon princes are going to be why because they give you all of the advantages to keep it right you take a blood letter i think that is what it is and and that means your demon princes of corn all become heavy support choices instead of hq choices so obviously you've you've got your thread right there that makes it easier now to go a little deeper you need to then pick your combat style and once again that's kind of done with you you know obviously if you're going cornflakes then then you're going to go more melee damage and if you're going you know nurgle you're going to just be try to be tough and 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 if you're going slanesh then obviously they're almost identical to the dark eldar in in many ways the the it's already there <clears throat> that being said the variety the real finesse of a demon army that i can see um is where you go with the the add-ons is how i would say it 
So, you know, the instruments of chaos, uh, icon of chaos. <clears throat> oh, and of course, the lesser and greater rewards. Now, I'm going to make a whole video dedicated just to the rewards because this is where you really, I believe, put in the difference in your army. Uh, this is more of an overview video of how I would play them and how I see them. They're very much a finesse army. They're very much a, a, a you have to keep that thread. And if you keep that thread, it's an amazingly devastating army. For example, if you want to go heavy vehicles and tanks and everything like that and heavy support, you can do that. If you want to have lots of monstrous creatures or big demons and running around, you can do that. Or if you really want to play the the K the demon form of a Tyranid Swarm army, uh, you can have massive hordes of like demonettes running across the table, heavily supported by gifts, uh, with a few, you know, greater demons and a demon prince in the background just kind of tying the army together. Uh, I haven't seen as many of those, which is unfortunate because I think that's by far the better choice. It's also the more expensive choice, and you'll find in most games like Warhammer and War Machine and everything like that, uh, the best choices tend to be the most expensive choices, and I don't think that's a coincidence! So, next time, I'm going to go into the gifts. I hope you understand and you like the video! See you then. Bye!